Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lifeline Financial Tutor. My name is Michael and today we'll continue in the second part of a series I like to call Basic Finance. This series is to take a step back and cover basic topics to help with the money management with clear concise points. In last week's video we covered the topic of what is a checking account and today we'll be continuing that discussion on what is a savings account. Before we begin, I'd like you to smash the like button down below and subscribe for more content. Like I said before, I want to cover what is a savings account, but I want to cover it in two parts. First, I want to discuss the definition and how it works, and secondly, how to use it in basic application. If you never learn how to use a tool properly, you will always waste efforts and resources using it incorrectly. Savings account is a deposit account that is interest bearing and designed to save money. You're able to deposit as much as you need to, but you're limited to six withdrawals per statement cycle. A savings account is designed to help you keep the money that you want to save from the money that you want to spend. Whether it's for a rainy day, to go on vacation, to buy a car, you're able to keep the funds separate and it's for its intended purposes. And if you're anything like me, one thing I struggle with is saving inside of my spending account, my everyday bills account. As bills are going out, it's hard to be able to tell what is surplus and what is extended for my bills. So by having a savings account, whatever my surplus is, I'm able to move it into a separate account to save it for its intended purposes. Now, we talked about a savings account and what it is and how it works. Now we want to talk about the application piece of things, how it works for you, how to use a savings account. Now, the story I want to use, the example I want to use is at the end of the month, all your income is $1,000. And after all your expenses, after all your bills, it totals right at $600. This leaves you left over with a surplus, an extra $400 to do with whatever you want to do with it. So this could be some of the money that you can use to go shopping, to treat yourself to something nice, and whatever you have left over from that, that's what you want to put away. That's what you want to use for the future, for an unforeseen event. Whether you want to put some more extra on the house to pay down the house a little bit quicker, something extra on the car note to get it down a little bit more. You may want to use some money to invest, but you can use this money to save it for the future. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, well, I don't have an extra 400, an extra 200 bucks to save for the future. Even if it's just $10 a month, something extra can help you get to your goal. By not doing nothing at all, you, you will never save, you'll never gain for the future. But by adding just a little bit, you can eventually get to a goal that you never saw yourself getting to. Hey everybody, that's the video. If you like what you saw, leave a like down below. Comment as well. I read my comments, so if you want me to cover a future topic, leave that comment down below so that way we can cover those topics. And I also want you to subscribe so that way you can be in line, be tuned in for when the new topics come out. So when we cover uh, credit, when we cover budgeting, when we cover the other basic topics, uh, you can stand tuned for those as well.